Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back in our How to Make a CGI Short Film inside Unreal Engine 4 Cyberpunk Edition. Now, what we're going to be doing today is a simple effects that is pretty darn cool. So, when I created this character in Relusion Character Creator 3, I mean, the decal right here looks really cool, but, I mean, if you played Cyberpunk, you know that it's missing some glow there. So what we're going to be doing today is adding some glow on that texture to make it a little bit better, you know. So, now this method is just something that I actually copied from this model here. So you can see there's a little glow on the tires there. So this might not be the best way to do this. But this is just a way for you to add glow on your character in Unreal Engine 4. So let's go ahead and get started. What you want to do is click your character and check out the actual texture on the character itself. Now, pretty cool Unreal Engine 4 has a built-in glow texture map right here. But what we're going to do first is instead of applying glow on the entire texture up here on the head... We're going to go ahead and export this and then edit it in After Effects. So go ahead and minimize that and you can see the name is Head Diffuse. So I'm going to minimize it and I'm just going to look for it here. Head underscore diffuse and here it is. So what we're going to do is right click. We're going to go to Asset Action, Export. And I'm going to go ahead and export this to a folder called Tutorials right here. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it just like that and I'm going to save it. Okay. And what I'm going to do next is you can do this in Paint, PowerPoint, however you want. But what we're going to do is actually imp import that in After Effects and masks what we want to glow. All right. So I'm going to go back to that tutorial page and see if I can find it right here. And I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it to a new composition. Basically, I'm going to go ahead and mask out what I want to glow. All right, so, and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you this, but I'm going to fast forward so you're not watching me mask this entire thing here, so. All right, so basically, we're going to go ahead and mask this thing here. And so you see, we can see this outline, and what we're going to do is just export this back to a Targa or TIFF. So I'm going to go ahead and save frame S file I'm gonna go ahead and change this to let's change it to a target sequence 24 bit is okay and I'm gonna go ahead and change the name of this to tutorial let's go find our tutorial folder I'm gonna go ahead and do glow face change that and I'm gonna go ahead and export this all right going back to Unreal Engine 4 we're just gonna drag and drop that texture in here all right so we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop it here glow face so you can see it's right here and really all you have to do next is go back to that head element enable glow the tint the multiplier strength illumination turn on the map and go ahead and look for that texture that we just imported glow face right here glow face and i'm going to go ahead and save this minimize and so you can see right there now her face is lit up, and that looks really cool. Now, I didn't show you guys the entire thing of me masking everything else, but I do have another texture with I have more than that. But basically, you just have to keep doing, keep masking out what you want. But check this out right here. I recreated another one. Save it. And there you go. I even added some on the head right there. And even in the back where you can't see. And like I said, if you want to mess around with the actual settings, you can do that. If I go all the way down, you can actually have it self-illuminate your character. So if you go to the glow map right here, I can add self-illumination and see that cool effect that that's doing. But it's doing it on the entire uh, area that you have masks. So it's really cool. And you can change the color as well. But for the self-illumination, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. But that's pretty much it. That is how you can add a really nice, neat effect for your sci-fi cyberpunk characters 
in Unreal Engine 4. All right, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And don't forget to check out the rest of this series. There's a lot of videos that I made about how I created um, this scene so far in Unreal Engine 4.